What's up guys? Today we're going to do a little shop talk. Basically just a few updates on what's on my workbench. I'm currently removing the tires on the SMT-10 so that I can take the shocks off to rebuild them. The shocks feel like they don't have much oil in them, so I'm going to go ahead and fill them up. As I'm removing the shocks, you can see all the dirt that's stuck on them, mainly from the shock oil that's leaked onto the bodies. I'm just taking some degreaser and cleaning these up before draining the remaining oil. It wasn't as bad as I thought, but you can see the shock is not full. I'm not going to go through how to build shocks because there's many videos on YouTube on that already. I'm just filling them up and I'll let them sit. While they sit, let's talk about the scale garage. I'm sure you've noticed the walls are up. The walls are made of white foam board cut and fit into place. I ordered some styrene eye beams but it turns out they were back ordered so I guess I'll be waiting on those to come in. For my first attempt at building with styrene, I made the enclosure for the roll up garage door. I'm still trying to decide how I want to make the garage door itself. My second styrene build was a little more challenging. I wanted to create a workbench but didn't have any square tubing, so I made my own. It's not perfect, but for only my second attempt with styrene, I'm pretty happy with it. This bench will be getting a metal top after I paint it. Back to the SMT-10, I filled the diffs with grease so it hopefully acts like a lock diff but also has some give. I'll see how I like it and may try something else. After the shocks are back together I can install the springs. I like to zip tie the spring to the retainer on the bottom to prevent it from sliding off. Now the shocks are reinstalled, but this is going to take way too long. That's better. Hey. While I'm putting the tires back on, let's talk about them. I recently installed these new J Concepts JCT tires on Tribute wheels and love them so far. The tires have a scale look to them that remind me of the full size monster truck tires and perform great as well. You can see it didn't take me long to get them dirty. Compared to the Proline tires I ran before, you can see the J Concept tire has a thicker sidewall to help when landing and it also has more of a scale appearance to it. They also offer these removable bead locker rings which look great and make it easy to change the color scheme of the truck. The tires are essentially the same height, but the J Concepts tire is slightly narrower which I also think is more true to scale than the Proline tire. So that's it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram for daily RC content. Peace.